So you as an actor, when you intuit these senses about a character that you're going to play, how do you put that into action? How do you then, mm -hmm. dare I say, create that? That's, that's a difficult question, I think, because we're all we're called upon to do different characters all the time, and they're most times night and day. Because we, and I hope you don't mind me including that, you know, I think you're a leading man, but I also think you're a character actor, you know, which I think is the richest kind of actor to be. And you're constantly act, being asked to play different roles, you know, uh, that are totally contradictory from one another. Um, to create a role, you know, you have to tap into stuff that's within you already, you know, the, the DNA in, inside your own heart. You have to tap into that and try to connect it to what you think the character wants and needs. You've got to find parallels in your life, you know, that exist in the characters. And you have to be able to go to whatever emotion that demands, you know, like it's, and they're not always pleasant emotions. So how do you access or use or go to a place of unpleasant emotion in yourself to find something about a character? Um, I don't necessarily try to f find it in my life. That if I can, great. If it's something that I've dealt with, because that's something very, I think it's always important, is that if you have a pain inside you that's not requited, okay, or it hasn't been uh, healed, I think that's the most dangerous thing to bring on stage. Okay. I think it's something you have to have experienced, seen its course and growth, and hopefully its eventual resolve. And then it's safe, I think, to go to that particular emotion. And why isn't it safe to bring that on stage? Because I think it becomes psychodrama. You know, it's a strange sort of thing. I think people, they don't want to see all your heart on stage. But if you just show them that I'm a crack, that's enough, uh, that has enough potency for an audience to access and be willing to come to. When you give them too much, they say, no, I don't need all that. Thank you. I don't. I don't need that, that dimension of feeling. Right. And so it's, if an emotion has been resolved, I believe you can use it for, the, for another character, if it parallels that character's need. Otherwise, I think it's, it's too tender, it's too raw, it becomes psychodrama. And how do you, it's an impossible question, and I apologize, but we are talking about the art of acting, which yeah. you can't actually articulate, but yeah. anyway, I'll ask a question anyway. How does Rick move over t to try out that, or try it in a scene, or a line, or word? How does that happen? When it doesn't occur to you spontaneously, okay. When it, what kind of things do you do to get to access what you need? Right. Um, I could probably just go back to acting school on that and say, you know, sometimes it's a piece of music, sometimes it's a color, sometimes it's a painting. Sometimes it's a piece of nature. It's whether it's grass or whether it's a tree or whether it's blue sky. You access things from wherever you need to to create. And that's why it's so hard for us to say, okay, in this particular character, I did this, and I've used that again for that character. That's why acting is so damn hard. Because each time you do it, it's a new birth. And the process of birth is painful. And the process for each character is individual. So what you have to do is access stuff within yourself that's relatable to that particular character, not for every character. Otherwise, we'd be playing the same person over and over and over again. But so do you immerse yourself in music? Do you sometimes, yeah. Some, what I often do, this is one thing I do on a constant basis. I like to sketch. I like to sit down with a, a book and, and visualize the person, not just stare at this is, I see them physically, exterior, externally. And then I'll want to go inside. I say, what would it look like inside? What colors do they have? What, what, you know, what, what clothes would they wear on a sunny day? What clothes wouldn't they wear? You know, just, just try to examine their life um, from as many perspectives as you can. And the biggest thing I rely upon when those things fail, or the first thing I want to go to inside myself, is our intuition. What we use is intuition. Because I think that's been, when I trust it, it's always been accurate inside me. It's always worked. When I don't, it doesn't work. 
Has that always been there for you as an actor from? No. No, it's been scared out of me a lot. Scared there are, out of you? There are directors that uh, don't trust it because when you walk in, I look like a, a bundle of nerves usually. You know, or you get to the point now where you fake like you're confident. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, know you kind of go, oh, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> and inside you're going, I don't know what the hell this is about. No. And you suddenly realize you're going to have to expose yourself sometime. And depending upon the environment you expose yourself in, if it's comfortable, safe, uh, caring environment where you feel you can explore, then I feel right. I, I feel uh, appropriate in creating. 